Good morning, long time no talk. It is August 29th, so almost the end of August. I don't even know when the last time I posted a video was. It's been a while. Life happens, that's okay. It doesn't mean life has to be bad. It just means that life things happen. This summer was just a busy summer and I had other things that I needed to prioritize. And now I'm back at school. I have moved in. I have been in school for two weeks, I guess. I've moved into an apartment in Athens. I've started school. I've been through two weeks of school, kind of, like a week and a half. Today is Monday, August 29th. I came back home this weekend to work. Tonight, I do have a BCM gathering that I have to be back at, so I will leave here around 2.30. Right now, it's 9.30. Today, I wanted to just show you kind of what I'm doing. Every day looks different. It's really strange. But today, since I'm at home until about 2.30, I am going to just be working on some schoolwork and then I'll pack things up to head back to Athens. One big thing I'm also working on is studying for the MCAT. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in one of my videos, but I'm a pre-medicine student. That means that I have a goal of going to medical school after I graduate with my undergraduate degree. That means you have to take an admission test. The MCAT is a medical college admission test. It's a very big exam. It's a long exam. It covers a wide range of topics. It's a beast to study for. I started studying in the end of May and I plan to take in January, take it in January. Needless to say, it takes a long time to study for this exam. It's something that I try to do most days on top of schoolwork. And I am doing a program online to help me study for the MCAT and I can review that later and see if I actually like it, if it actually helps me make a good store. score. With this program, every three to four weeks, you take a full MCAT exam. A full MCAT exam takes me about six hours. So I did that last Monday. Now, I will be reviewing that MCAT. I will go through all the answers that I got wrong, figure out what's going on, how I can improve my score. Here we are. 9.30 and I'm gonna start studying. I will just write review of fourth MCAT or whatever and then I'll go through each section of the exam and I'll review the fun stuff. And that will check one thing off my to-do list today. I live off of to-do list. Every day I have a note on my phone on the notes app that has my to-do list on it and I'll just check it off when I'm done. I'm gonna set a timer for about an hour and then when an hour's up I'm gonna get around get up and walk around. And if I'm not done with the review, I'll come back and start over again. Hey. Me, I never got invited to any parties. I just sit out from the in crowd and stay within my boundaries. Then hang on my friends and it was great. We'd go out but not that late. And I really love and never want to change. But sometimes I can't help but think, am I? Okay, well, I like weird because I still have my blue light blocking glasses on. It's been an hour. I've only made it through 39 questions out of the 59 in the first section out of four sections. So I'm still in the first section, the chemistry and physics section, but it's been an hour. I need to get up and walk around and I have 24 group me messages I have to look at. I'm just gonna do some walking around the house. I'm literally just gonna walk circles in my living room and then we'll be back to studying. <laughs> All right, my 10 minute timer went off for my break. Another hour, let's go. Alrighty folks, it is now 1.02. I was able to go through everything and I take notes on the problems that I missed or definitions that I need to remember or just topics that I really need to focus on. I did a front and back page for the three sections that I thoroughly reviewed. I have to leave in an hour. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have so much time today to work out and do some cleaning and do more schoolwork, but right now I just need to shower, change, eat lunch, and start packing to leave for Athens. All right, I've obviously changed, shower, shower, change. I ate a quick lunch and now it's much later. It's 2.30 and I'm all packed up. Because I stayed later this weekend, I got groceries at home, so this is filled with groceries. This is just stuff I brought home, purse, and my backpack. Let's hit the road. 
The lighting is really bad. First time filming in the apartment. I literally have to leave in one minute. It's 5.14. I need to leave at 5.15. I need to be at the BCM, which is the Baptist Collegiate Ministry. Or Baptist Campus Ministry. I don't even know what it stands for at this point. I am doing a little bit of the tech stuff tonight. And then some logistics. Like setting up and that kind of stuff. So, um, I need to be there around 5.30 to learn a little bit about the lights. Around six o'clock, I'll be setting up some tables and stuff for the event. And then the event starts at eight. So if I have time, I'll come back here and get some more schoolwork done because I didn't get as much done as I thought because MCAT took me so long. But it is what it is. It's 5.15 now. Oh, 5.30, okay. So I need to, I need to leave now. <laughs> All right, I'll see you when I see you. Good morning. I'm trying not to be too loud because our walls are so in this apartment that like all my roommates can hear me but it is 7 30. I needed to prioritize doing homework this morning before going into class so I have an hour to get homework done before I start getting ready for the day. Trying to complain, I am just a little curious Cause I see the picture, see the post Reckless me, not even close Cause why would I be something that I'm not? I should be happy with the friends I've got But these thoughts don't come to mind And I can't help Alright, hi, good morning. I just made it into the parking deck. My class starts in... Starts at 9.35, it's 9.27. Eight minutes? Uh, sorry. I'm going. This is my biomechanics class. It's like the physics of movement almost. Kind of just what the class is about. So it's it's another physics class it kind of feels like at the moment. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Probably should get a move on. But first class of the day. Alright, hello. So I am back at the apartment. That class went pretty well. Like I said, it was it's biomechanics, so it's more mathy, more physics involved, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And that class lasted until 10.50, so I was out of there by 11, but there's so much traffic that it's 11.20, and it should only take me like five minutes to get back to the apartment. But here we are. I am about to go work out. I like to work out in between classes because sometimes I don't want to wake up really early to work out. And then if I work out after all my classes, my last class is around five o'clock and then the gym is crowded. So I'm going to go to the apartment gym, get a quick leg workout in and then come back and see what time I have left. My next class starts at 2.20 so I can leave here at 2. So it's, like, it's 11.20 now so I have two hours and 40 minutes, about two and a half hours. It might take me about an hour to work out. I like to walk afterwards, so we'll see. I'll come back, eat lunch, but let's go do a leg workout. All this constant he said, she said, this pressure of society, huh? Won't let it get to me, not to find my popularity. I'll decide a Okay, um, I am back. It is now one o'clock, and I need to take a really quick body shower. I need to take a quick shower, and then I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat some lunch.
all right everybody i know this video was all over the place i'm trying to get back into the hang of doing videos and some things i haven't filmed at yet like during class or during church events but this is at least something that i'm going to put up on youtube trying to get back into the hang of things because it's fun and it gives me a sense of normalcy in life at the moment i don't have a schedule of posting we'll see what happens but let's talk about the bible verse for today matthew 7 12 states so in everything do to others what you would have them do to you for this sums up the law and the prophets this is something that i think is very applicable to our lives now because i feel like at least my generation, most people do not seem very kind and most people don't seem nice. People are not just genuinely friendly anymore. And it's sad. There are people out there, I'm not saying everyone is that way, but it is more common for people to just not talk to each other or not do things for each other. So just remember that what you want to receive, you need to give. Now that does not mean if you want to receive a thousand bucks, you have to give a thousand bucks to someone. I'm not saying it's like, an equal swap every time but if you want to feel loved yourself if you want people to talk to you and be friendly to you you need to be friendly to other people and talk to them back basically i'm just saying if you're expecting everyone to do the talking or everyone to be friendly or that person to ask you how you're doing you just need to ask them because most of the time people won't ask you that until you ask them so do to others as you would have them do to you it is a very important concept that i think is lost in my generation at the moment but hopefully it comes back i hope you enjoyed this really scattered video maybe you liked it i don't know let me know of any videos that you do want to see coming up i have a few ideas I didn't do a college move-in vlog. I could do a room tour, but I literally have nothing up on my walls and I probably will not have anything on my walls ever because I just, I don't know what I want up there. I'm not good at decorating, but I can do different college videos, different MCAT videos. I am studying for the MCAT, which is a big aspect of a student who's a pre-med student. So if you have any questions about that, just comment down below. You can shoot me a direct message on Instagram, all of the above. But I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day and be a blessing to others today. Bye, guys.